nothing will change unless we have a request to the, uh, to the Quebec Human Rights Commission. The Native Women Shelter of Montreal is requesting that the Quebec Human Rights and Youth Commission launch an inquiry into systemic racism in employment and services at Batshaw Youth and Family Services Centre, responsible for the care of English-speaking youth in Montreal and Inuit children from Nunavik. They're alleging that Batshaw's practices are discriminatory towards Indigenous children and parents, including racial profiling. I am at the Native Women's Shelter. We have a lot of children here, and the moms are steer, still fearful. So ideally, we would get to a place where the moms know that when they have a conversation with a social worker, that it's going to be in a respectful manner, that there won't be racial profiling, that they're, you know, that if if the, the children need language, that it's something the social worker will say yes to. Last month, Nakuset of the Native Women's Shelter announced she was no longer working with Batshaw's management because of their refusal to correct practices that she considers to be systemic racism. In a Youth Protection Commission report released in May, grievances were documented, like a ban on Indigenous children and their mothers communicating in their mother tongue. All youth are allowed to speak in their language, um, maternal language, be it Spanish, be it Inuktitut, um, be it English, French, they're allowed. And what the CDPDJ asked us to do is really make sure that it's clearly indicated in all our procedures and our, and our policies. One of the things that's really important for Indigenous children is to, and families, is to provide culturally appropriate and safe services to them. And we know that that's not possible without having Indigenous people working with and for within that institution. They're asking the Quebec Human Rights Commission to look into underrepresentation of Indigenous employees at Batshaw, accounting for just one Indigenous social worker. But representatives overseeing Batshaw say postings geared at Indigenous people have been up for a year with no success. We actually have one of our community partners, Makievic, that put up their hand that is helping to recruit two liaison workers that would be from the Indigenous culture to be able to work for us with our teams, with our youth, and help with um, ensuring that our, pl our inter intervention plans with the youth are actually up to par in terms of cultural sensitivity and adaptation. Batshaw welcomes any inquiry from the Human Rights Commission, saying it provides an opportunity to respond to the allegations. The Commission comes in, we'll be, de definitely be pleased to uh, explain to them and demonstrate them our action plans, the 20 actions that we've already taken in place, put in place. For example, uh, it's been a long-standing issue that youth that come from up north to the south have difficulty accessing English uh, education because of all of the, the, the documentation that's required. And so this has been a problem for like 20 years, 25 years. And I can uh, happily report that this year all children are are registered for the English school boards. That it's only if we go to this level do we get some kind of response. And I think that's really problematic. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.